Good morning from JMC Studios. I'm Jose, and it is 7.40 in the morning, and I wish you the happiest morning. I'm Cam. Welcome to JMC Studios, too. Today, we're going to do the word of the day, and that's the Italian articles. Not these articles that you find in the morning, but those articles. The seven articles. Bang. Hi, my name is Jose. You know that already. But today, my reporter, Matt, is going to teach you guys about the articles. <sighs> okay, so there's four thes that are singular in Italian. The masculine are il, lo, and el apostrophe. Feminine are la and el apostrophe. So there's three thes that are plural in Italian. For masculine, there's gui and i. For feminine, there's le. Now we're going to teach you the real meaning of these words with examples. The il is an example for il libro. It is masculine and singular. You know, it starts with a consonant. Hi, my name is Jose, and we're going to talk about lo. And it's used when a singular masculine word starts with a z or s plus a consonant. For example, lo studente. El apostrophe is used for any word masculine or feminine that starts with a vowel, like alula or lautobus. It may look like I. But it's really pronounced E. It's a masculine and plural word, and its example is E libri. Uh, this is Le, and it's only female plural Italian article, and the example is Le Madre. This is the word Gli, and it's used for masculine and plural words. For example, Gli studenti. La. It is a singular feminine word, and example is La Casa. So get ready to take the quiz. The answer for this is L. The answer for this is L apostrophe. The answer for this is La. The answer for this is Lo. The answer for this is glee. The answer for this is lay. The answer for this is e. The answer for this is lo. Answer for this is ill. The answer is L apostrophe.